Colorism. Everybody knows about racism, but what about colorism? This is defined as discrimination against individuals with a dark skin tone, typically among those of the same racial or ethnic group. Now, the brown paper bag test was a form of racial discrimination practiced by comparing an individual's skin tone to the color of a brown paper bag. The test was used as a way to determine whether or not an individual could have certain privileges. Only those with a skin tone lighter than or the same as a brown paper bag were allowed admission into churches, fraternities, and nightclubs. Thankfully, this is not a practice that is carried out today. However, I thought to myself, what if it was? Or, what if I was born into such a time in which it was? How would I react? Would I scream and shout against the colorist practice? Or would I inst instead indeed wish I was lighter than the brown paper bag? No, surely I wouldn't. I was raised better. Besides, everyone knows that colorism is wrong, right? Not even a week later, one of my own friends came up to me saying, isn't she beautiful? I squinted, searching for who had him so dazzled. Eager to see her, I asked, who? Describe her for me. He said, the one with the big hair. The one in the blazer, I asked. No, not her, he said. She's too dark to be beautiful. I nodded in understanding. It was only later that I realized what he said. She's too dark be beautiful. What did he mean by that? He couldn't have meant that just because she was darker, she had no right to be beautiful. He was just as dark as her, and so was the rest of his family. He wouldn't let his own sisters believe that they were ugly. No one would. But my brother did. He would proudly exclaim, Lightskins have the best features. I don't like black girls. But wouldn't his own children be as dark as him? Did he think that I, his own sister, was also ugly? Hearing the same words time and time again from those around me, I eventually did come to believe that I was too dark and therefore ugly. I told my friends this, and they repeated it back to me. Light skins are the most beautiful. I can never bring a nappy-haired girl back to my own mother a deadly cycle. What if we change the narrative? What if we said you're pretty instead of you're pretty for our dark skin? What if we encourage individuality instead of pushing everyone to have the same features? What if you weren't taught to hate yourself? What if you nip those self-degrading thoughts in the bud? What difference would it make? When I shared my thoughts with a strong black woman who is my mother, she told me, if ever told your skin is too dark, do not hesitate to say that the sun loved you so much, it kissed you more than it did others. When I shared my thoughts with a strong black woman who was once my teacher, she told me, oh, Coco Wild Child, diamonds, rubies, and pearls can never compare to the beauty that is your essence. When I shared my thoughts with a strong black woman who is my cousin, she told me, I knew I was powerful when I realized that the color of my skin made those around me uncomfortable. And now, if I was to hear, you're too dark to be beautiful, I would tell them, women of color only glow and shine bright under the sun. When young, you're easily influenced, and what you hear becomes what you think. So I beg you, be careful what you say. I ask you to write our future by changing your words and actions of the present. In our society, there is no perfection, either too light to be black, 
too thin or too fat to look good, or too dark to be beautiful. In essence, we're trained to believe that anything or anyone but who you are is better. I refuse to believe this. I ask you to be careful. To every girl out there just like me, your skin is a reminder of everything beautiful this world will ever know. Thank you.